Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, we're going to do some work on the image that is here on our screen. It's a very nice looking image with the subject looking directly at us. It has a lot of great things going for it. It also has a lot of glaring issues, including this terrible framing action that's happening around it. There are a lot of dirt and speckles and specks up here to get rid of. The face itself is looking a little bit dead and flat. And I think we can use AI to help improve that a little bit. And then I'm going to use another AI tool to colorize the image once we are finished with it. So great. The first thing that you're going to want to do is like the video. And the second thing is subscribe to the channel. And with that, you're going to encourage me to make more videos. And with that, let's get right into this. So what I want to show you first is that this is an AI generated image. And you'll see that there are issues with the pupils and the face just doesn't have a lot of life to it. So I'm going to bring it over here to the Tencent Arc GFPGAN conversion. And there are a couple of different models here to choose from. They say that version 1.3 gives better quality and I find that it does for faces. So let's go ahead and submit this. And here is our result. So comparing the first to the second, they have provided a little bit of tinting here, but what I'm more interested in are the eyes, which look more symmetrical, look more natural now that she's looking even more directly at us with both pupils. That's great. It did seem to do some touching here on the mouth as well. Um, I think it looks fantastic. So we will download this and we'll go ahead and open it up in the Photoshop. And here she is in all of her beauty. So now we can get rid of the terrible border that is around here. We'll first bring up the crop tool here. And what we can do is straighten her up in the picture so that her mouth and her eyes are nice and horizontal in the frame. And then we can just bring in the crop tool slightly so that we're going to hold on to as many of the original pixels as possible, but get rid of that whiteness that's all around things. So we'll accept this and the image is looking better already. So now what I can do is get rid of all the little specks and the dirt. So we'll go into our remove tool and I'll just go ahead and get rid of all of these at once. There, I think that that has taken care of those glaring issues. There really wasn't a lot to deal with here on this side. Maybe one little speck down here. We'll get rid of that little fine line and voila. So now what I'm going to do is actually strip it of any color information that's here. I'm going to make it grayscale or actually black and white. So black and white. Here we go. And now what I'm going to do is give it a little bit more pop by going here into our adjustments all the way down to shadows and highlights. And you'll see that this is a little bit too blown out. Let's just reduce the amount here. And let's compare before and after before after still looking a little bit too blown out let's just try this and let's see the before and after before after just has a little bit more glow pop to it great so now what we want to do is do a quick export here as png Go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to bring it over to palette.fm and colorize it. Over here on palette, we're just going to hit upload image. Find our lady here. Go ahead and upload her. And we'll let it do its initial processing. And then let it do its initial base palette rendering here. And we'll see what kind of colorizing this provides. So that doesn't look too bad, but it looks somewhat painted. There's some toning that just isn't quite natural here, but there are many other filters or settings that we can try. So let's try Vivid Natural and Warm Glow. So Warm Glow, again, has a painted look to it, a bit backlit, which is interesting. Her face looks nice, but the hair does not look very natural. Vivid Natural, again, slightly painted, but it does give more of an antique photography feel to it. There are others we can try though. Outdoor Vibes often has nice results. And the same with two up here at the end, Vintage Charm and Ambient Historic. Let's let those run. So Ambient Historic has a nice result. 
vintage charm it has some blue and purple happening in her hair let's jump back over here to outdoor vibes that actually looks quite nice i wish that her hair wasn't quite as toned but let's go back here and look at vivid natural i think that that is going to be the winner let's compare it maybe finally to the base palette now i think that vivid natural is going to be the winner for me so now let's download this and I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. And I'm going to select all of it and copy it. Bring it here to our original image. Paste it. Then I'm going to take my transform tool here, move it all the way up to this corner, and then I'm going to stretch it all the way down here to this corner. So what we can see when we've done that is that the colorized image is very heavily pixelated is of a lower quality than our base image. So what we want to do is hold on to the properties of color from this layer, but which we can do just by going color here. And you can see how it gives the clarity because it's getting the actual pixels from our background image, the black and white, but then it's just pulling the color from that top layer. Awesome. So in the end, let's look at our finished product here. I think that that is a very nice looking image. I think that it does have all of the qualities that we were looking for. Nice natural looking eyes. The mouth looks natural. The color of the skin is great. The hair, I will say that it could have been a little bit better evenly toned throughout, but overall it looks very fantastic, natural. I love the clothing, how it gives it a bit of a blur there. Again, it adds to the natural look of things. So overall, I'm very happy with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope that you did enjoy the video. Make sure that you like it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll see you the next time.